Okay, so this is uh, the first video on Kole. Um, now, uh, I'm such a weird weirdo in that um, I believe so deeply in uh, different strokes kind of interrelating and helping each other. Um, so Kole is one of the, I think, one of the most uh, helpful strokes that will help detache and all other strokes, in my opinion. That's because it's one of the few strokes where you have to start from the string, usually at the frog, and use your smaller muscles to pick up the bow in a crisp manner. So the fact that it's crisp makes the action more limited. Okay, it's not like a smooth bow stroke where you have constant motion, but it's one complete round of, of moving. Okay? So that's the, um, that's the first um, the reason why Kole is uh, so helpful. Um, and also um, the fact that you're required to pick up the bow using your smaller muscles. It, it's one of the few strokes that requires just complete control from the smaller muscles. And we always talk about, oh, you know, use your smaller muscles, feel it, blah, blah, blah. But so many of these strokes are a combination of, you know, larger, you know, like muscles. And it's like spiccato, honestly, it's like controlled. Um, but it's uh, it's a lot of letting go too, so it's like bouncing a ball. You know, you, you you don't take the ball and then you're like bring it down to the ground and then pick it up. Like you're not doing that. So there is that uncontrolled moment or moments um, of the ball and hand relationship, right? However, um, with Kole, it's like ah, it's almost like stalling a ball on your foot. Right, if you're playing soccer, you know how like so before you do any tricks, sometimes one of the most important tricks is to be able to pick up the ball with your foot and stall it on your foot. Complete control, right? The entire time. And that's kind of like Kole is, okay? So the entire bow stroke, okay, is just controlled. There's no moment of uncontrolled freedom. Therefore, it really trains the smaller muscles uh, very accurately, shall we say. It's not a good word, but okay. I hope that makes sense. Um, so the first uh, step of learning Kole properly is, and I know Noah, you're very good at this, so I'm not going to spend more time, okay, is to be able to do this. Okay, move the bow vertically up and down, okay, using a combination of your wrist and your fingers. So the wrist really, to break it down even further, is the the part of the, the limb or you know, part of your body, that um, actually is doing the up and down motion the, the most. That's the originator of the motion. Nothing else, you know, above and larger than that is, is doing anything. But as you go up, you see, if you don't use your, if you don't activate your fingers or your, any other part of your hand, your, your hand will go like this. The bow will be completely all over the place, right? However, if you use your finger, so let's say the wrist is going up, and your fingers curl into your hand, the palm of your hand, Okay, as you go up, as you can see, you're able to keep the bow straight. Okay, and then you stretch it out as the wrist goes down, and that's the basic motion of um, this exercise, right? And once you're very good at that, okay, you can try putting the bow on the string, and it's basically the same motion but horizontally, right? So you're gonna bring the 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 bow on an up bow, right, with the wrist but use the fingers to keep it straight, so. Okay, so again. Okay, so same motion as before. Okay. So that's the first step. And the first step um, is to, to practice the up bow kole many, 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 many times. And once again, just like in, uh, I think I was explaining one of the other strokes, the reset of each stroke is extremely important okay um, I, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to get Kole but where people fail um, the most is practicing it because they don't realize that this is Kole and this isn't right that's uh, not Kole that's just like swinging your bow around right Kole is when you reset put the bow on the string and do that entire motion perfectly okay you reset and you do the entire motion perfectly. And every stroke should be like that. And obviously, at first, it'll be done, you know, it'll be easier, you know, done slowly. But 
um, even when you go faster, watch. I come back to the string and pick up from the string every single time. This is very important because people slack off right at this moment. And so if you slack off, what happens? You're not resetting. You're not doing collet. You're not picking up with a bite. So then you're, if you're not putting the ball on the string, you're not resetting, what stroke is that kind of like? That's kind of like spiccato, right? Ish, but not true spiccato. Spiccato, you know, start from off the string and it's a bounce, right? And like, but as you can see, you start from off the string and then you kind of bounce it like a ball. So as people get sloppy, they end up with a weird mix of cole, spiccato, right? Now, when the mix is done deliberately after each stroke is mastered, that's perfectly fine, and they are interrelated and so on. But if you don't learn the collé properly, I mean, you won't even be able to mix the ingredients together properly under control. Um, so uh, make sure that when you practice, every stroke is perfect. And if you can't, um, you know, if you can't possibly be patient enough, um, there are... I like to um, at least set a timer, okay? And be like, for three minutes, I'm just gonna focus on perfection, okay? So I'm gonna be like, okay, put the ball on the string, reset, pick it up, okay? Put the ball on the string, grip, you know, grab this, grab the bow, bite, and then release, okay? So grab the string, release. Put the bow on the string, grab the string, release. Put the ball on the string, grab the string, and then I guess release is not a good word, pick up the bow. Okay, and I'll be mentally going through the steps before my hands move every single time for three minutes straight. And the three minutes at least gives me, uh, you know, it might feel long, it might feel short or whatever, but at least uh, helps me at least um, uh, focus a little more because I'm saying, okay, for three minutes, I'm going to hyper focus instead of, you know, trying it for a while and it kind of doesn't work, sometimes it doesn't, does work and then you kind of you know, pitter patter out. It makes it a little bit more measurable and disciplined. Um, and um, yeah, three minutes, I think, is a good start uh, whenever you have a new bow stroke. So I would do three minute sessions on one string, three minutes on another string, kind of change the strings, um, and then uh, try to apply it to scales as well. Um, and um, yeah, uh, just make sure that you don't get a slack off um, in the, the execution, the repetition of the stroke. Um, cool. That's it for um, up bow collet. The next step, uh, next video will be on down bow collet. And uh, once you do that, um, yeah, you will have down and up, but I would uh, advise you to start with just up bow collet for now. Okay, bye.